the stone. Do not rest <laughs> on side to rapid disassembly. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get. It is dangerous. Now we know stone. what this is means. <laughs> got to get me a Rosetta Stone for right. <laughs> Mandarin. That's right. Um, but there were some interesting things in this document, and it was about a big push in China to be the EV component supplier. Uh, for drivetrains, batteries, the whole thing, or wide. Wow. And they, they're not sitting around. <laughs> Another U.S. study had us uh, at 4% electric cars by 2020. If the price of the batteries could be, could be driven down <laughs> from today's $720 per kilowatt hour to <laughs> $440, dollars per kilowatt hour by 2015. Huh? <laughs> These are sitting here in the garage. 339 oh, per kilowatt my. hour. I, are we there? Uh, <laughs> if you don't know what the price is now, how are you going to tell me what's going on in 2020? It's tough to see the future. Chinese think there's going to be plenty of penetration in electric cars. But I pulled out a couple of facts out of this that I thought were interesting. Um, one per kilowatt hour, and this 180 amp cell here, 3.6 volts, this is about 680 watt hours. So about one and a half of these cells is essentially a kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. We measure a pack in kilowatt hours. Right. We're going to have about a 40 kilowatt hour pack in mm -hmm. the uh, Mini Cooper. Well, we're about 24 in the, in the, the Speedster. sports Speedster. Yeah. yeah. Um, but a kilowatt hour, uh, every, everyone is concerned about the uh, lithium. And ah. I, I said in <laughs> one video that the idea there being 30 million metric tons of lithium in the world is preposterous. It's a rare element, but we don't know how much there is because it's not worth enough to go look for. Right, right. Um, this report's got uh, Bolivia as having 41% uh, of the world's supply of lithium. Chile, 38%, and China, 17%. This is mostly lithium carbonates, which is, is what they actually use. But I've been saying all along, we took apart a Thundersky battery. I sawed it in, into pieces here, and we uh, took it apart in one video and showed you the foils and so forth. Uh, there's not much lithium in these batteries. Um, they put a number to that. It's two kilograms about 4.4 .4 pounds in a kilowatt hour of um, lithium ion okay. iron phosphate cells. Um, would you believe the price of lithium has quadrupled from 2002 to 2008? And it's now $8 per kilogram. That's $4 Four a dollars, pound. $4, yeah. Or 25 cents an ounce. If you were looking for lithium to be the next gold or platinum, <laughs> understand that either the copper or the aluminum in these battery cells is worth <laughs> 10 times what the lithium That's is. That's right. <laughs> By weight. By, yep. And they're 90% of the weight. The lithium really isn't it. There's a lot of misunderstanding about this lithium. It's not toxic. These batteries are the most benign battery environmentally you could possibly make. Um, and uh, but it's about eight dollars uh, per kilogram for the lithium carbonate wow. salts in 2008. Uh, that's up by a factor of four, and it's about 4.4 pounds per kilowatt hour that you use anyway. Mm -hmm. You're gonna use it anyway. Um, wow. So that's the uh, about half the cost of the batteries is in the machines to make them. I could imagine just in the. If you're going to do this volume, you have to have yeah. a bunch of machines to extrude that aluminum foil and that copper mm -hmm. foil and, you know, the the uh, uh, polyethylene case right. and so Rolling forth. it all. And oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's la it's kind of labor intensive in mm -hmm. China. They got a lot of labor. But, oh, for example, a 30 kilowatt pack at today's price of 339.50 a kilowatt hour is $10,185. Uh, $480 of that's lithium. Okay. Wow. Uh, that's not a lot. <laughs> it's, it's not the, the big thing. So that's yeah. some, some stuff on batteries. They had a meeting in Bangkok 
about climate change. The Kyoto Accords mm -hmm. going to run out in 2012, right. and they're getting ready. Of course, the cottage industry and uh, uh, climate change and, and carbon issues is third world countries that want money. Sure. It's good work uh, if you can get it, right? It's good work <laughs> if you can get it. If you get the countries that have the money to send the money, then you have some. That's it. Um, their ploy or, or strategy is that you all built your wealth on energy, basically, cheap energy. Mm -hmm. And now we want some. and so, and, But you're telling us not to use it because it causes carbon dioxide <laughs> in the Earth's <laughs> atmosphere. Well, okay, but you got to help us develop Oh yeah. Without the energy. And it, yeah. it, you know, the argument more or less hangs together. <laughs> this month, the Saudis showed up at this meeting. Uh -huh. Energy meeting. Saudis showed up. Guess what their story <laughs> is? If we all go to electric cars, they're gonna lose nineteen billion dollars a year in oil <laughs> revenues and they want us to replace it. Wow. And that's good work if you can get it. Man, I'm telling you, I can just see the Obama administration bailing out Saudi Arabia because they don't have enough oil revenues. We're too green. They haven't missed anybody else. <laughs> AIG, all the banks, uh, General Motors, and we're government motors. Uh, <laughs> Why not bail out the Saudis? We'll put them on the on the welfare roll. We'll put them on the dole, and uh, and we'll support them uh, for not getting oil revenues because we've gone to electric cars. Imagine that. There's two thousand of these cars in the country, Brian, running on these batteries. Five six hundred Teslas, five six hundred BMW Minis, some prototypes, and. Two or three hundred, that, that not even that. You guys have converted. Well, in we're pretty early in the game. Yeah. Well, in fact, I was looking. There's a there's a new website. It was launched Thursday called the Book of Odds, and you can look up all kinds of odds. The odds of, you know, getting hit by a meteorite. Some fairly complex odds. They've been working on three or four years, and so I looked up the odds of coming up next to an electric vehicle in traffic. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's so close to zero that they don't even have it on the odds website anymore. Yeah, I mean, or at all. So you can't even find anything about electric vehicles at all. The the media has it that they are everywhere. And they're, they're nowhere. Not, <laughs> there's, uh, We're nowhere. <laughs> there's 50 or 60,000 electric vehicles in the United States, including 37,000 gems that run on lead acid batteries. Right. Neighborhood electric vehicles, golf carts. Golf carts. I'm counting everything. Uh, motorcycles, all kinds. Real of cars running on lithium ion cells. There can't be 2,000 in the world. Yeah, I think that's a good number. But as a top, yeah. It, it just can't be, uh, and they act like it's done. The hard work's yet to do. This is kind of cool. You remember I was talking about putting the coils in the road? Right. These tuned resonant frequency uh, coils right. MIT and Intel were working mm -hmm. on, and um, now you can do that. There's a company that's uh, come up with it. They have a 128 scale track with little cars and everything. Um, they can actually control the cars, the speed, the direction, the steering really? through this, and it's called IAV Inc., and I have to look up here what that stands for. The guy's name is Wilfred Nitschke, and he's the head of IAV's Technology Monitoring Business Division. The, um, the company name is kind of uh, interesting, Ingenieur... Urge a cell shaft auto and a verker. Ah. Was I close? I yeah, it's been a while for my uh, German. Yeah, in engineer gazal shaft auto and verker. There you there go. There you go. I knew that. <laughs> Some <laughs> of those German words they put together. Right? Well, they've, uh, <laughs> they've got a uh, website, www.iav.com. And they have a proposal for doing what I was talking about, uh, taking major highways, putting these coils in the road, uh, inductors, and as you drive over them, having a pickup on the bottom of the car and charging the car as you go along. If, if this could be done, 
the advantage is it doesn't add any weight to the car right. to speak of. Yep. Um, your 50 Whoop. or 75 or 100 mile range for almost everybody, the interstate highway system maps our population quite precisely. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. And so if you can get to an interstate on your own batteries, you can drive down the road charging and arrive at the next city with a full pop, pop top off, off the batteries. Off yep. Uh, if you want to pass somebody on the road, just do one lane like this. If you want to pass or, or whatever, you just pull out off of the buried rail and use mm -hmm. your batteries and drive a mile or two and then get back in the lane. All right. Uh, it would be very practical. Mm -hmm. uh, it opens the door to some things you know, like um, steering and cruise control. Right. Uh, data transmission yep. uh, through 